You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Right. Plus, up. it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're busting the myths. What's true and what's not when it comes to breast cancer? And a new machine changing the way women get checked. Welcome back. Uh, in the health wire, as uh, Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month winds down, we're going to take a look at mammograms, and there's something new. There is, and yeah. uh, with technology changing by the second, mm -hmm. this new technology is changing the way women get checked. It allows women to lie down for their exam instead of standing up. Diane Ryan has that, plus uh, she has more on this uh, from wherever. I don't know. They just corrected it in the, in the teleprompter. Yes. let's see. <laughs> so here's Diane. Hey guys, we are here with a specialist in breast cancer. We're talking to Dr. Coral Quiet, and we are at her practice. We're right off I-17 and Rose Garden. And uh, we are talking about some myths this morning. We're gonna try to bust some of them. This is Breast Cancer Month, and we wanted to ask you, because you're the specialist here in this, some of the things that women uh, worry about. And one of the things is uh, they wonder if the tumors run in families. Is, is that possible? Tumors do, breast cancer does run in families. In fact, when we see families that have young women with breast cancer or ovarian cancer in the family, we start to think, is this the genetic form of breast cancer? And it's really important that we identify those families because early um, detection, early, um, we watch these women very aggressively because they tend to get aggressive cancer. So that is very important. So they are susceptible. They are susceptible. And it can be passed on the father's side, which is another myth that it only comes on the mother's side. But no, it's in fact harder to detect on the father's side because there may not be as many women on, on that side of the family. You know, a lot of women um, get uh, mammograms every year. That's what we were told to do. But some women are starting to worry about the exposure of, of that x-ray. Will that hurt the breast? a healthy breast. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think especially as a radiation oncologist, we know that as little radiation as possible is best health practices. But the benefit of mammograms and finding these very early cancers, allowing us to do minimal um, surgery, minimal radiation, minimal um, hormone manipulation or chemotherapy, gives us the best chance for cure. And so that benefit greatly outweighs any risk there. And um, also, a lot of women are worried about uh, the, the mammogram. If you have a clean mammogram, do you have to uh, do that monthly breast uh, test? Another great question. Mammograms actually miss about 20% of all breast cancers. And so one of the things we're looking at is ways to find these breast cancers, particularly in young women with dense breasts. That's a very hard uh, mammogram to interpret, and it's easy to miss cancers there. Mm -hmm. So that we use ultrasound and breast examinations, both um, self-exams as well as physician examinations. So it's really important to do that monthly Absolutely. exam. Now we're talking about um, radiation and, and you have a new machine here. Yes, this is the Pivotal system. Um, it allows us to treat breast cancer, again, trying to minimize the amount of toxicity we get with therapy. We have a patient, um, Stephanie's demonstrating for us, that will lie down. She lies on her belly now. Mm -hmm. The breast drops through the table and we're able to treat from the bottom, essentially, protecting the ribs, protecting the heart and the lung, which has always been one of the troubles, one of the things we've really worried about, how to minimize the dose to normal tissue. This has been a wonderful tool for us, and um, we're very pleased with that we've worked with Varian to develop this um, table now. Mm -hmm. and, and this uh, makes a big difference for women with um, uh, uh, dense breasts? Well, it's actually for women with larger breasts, because when the breast is very large, it kind of pulls across the chest wall, and we have to treat more tissue. But by this way, it falls down away from the body, so we can minimize the amount of tissue that we're treating. And Stephanie, the other thing I'd say is the biggest myth I have about women not wanting to get mammograms is they didn't have a family history. And in fact, the majority of women I see have no family history, have no risk factors. Breast cancer is so common amongst women in our country that it really is important for women to be getting their annual mammograms once they're 40 years, 40 years old. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to us, Doctor. A lot of good advice here, guys. Back to you. Wow, I'm, I'm glad they're making these advances. I know. It looks better than lying down. It looks more comfortable, for yes. sure. Yeah, but technology, the way it is these days, there's just no, um, well, there's one no excuse why you can't get a mammogram. You've no. got to get in and get those done. So preventative, mm -hmm. you know?